Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Mario and Rabbit's Sparks of Hope. In the last episode, we met quite a mysterious new ally, known only as Edge. Although they seemingly have quite a rough personality, their actions say otherwise, helping us save the spark that we needed for the lighthouse, while also helping us take on the likes of our very first boss, a gigantic variation of the Wild Claw enemy type, an enemy known to be able to crush you in one single movement. If we were able to, you know, get too close to it, and if, uh, let's say, you had Hero Sight active, it'll actually run at you just like a Smasher would. So, yeah, definitely not good to get it unraged. Overall, a nice little addition to our team, while also giving us a full team of three, like we were used to having back in our past adventures, just by the fact of us having Edge in general. So, honestly, yeah, Edge had helped us out quite a bit already, just from everything that we've done so far. And we did get our very first of our purified uh, Dark Mess crystals, so we're definitely on route to making our way out of here. Also, apparently, there's a rabbit right here, so let's see what's going on with him. Mm, once this trophy smelled like copper, nickel alloy, and victory, now it smells like flaming hot bacon and jalapeno pork crisps. <laughs> that makes sense why that rabbit's licking away at that. But we were chasing down a spark in the last episode, and it looks like you ended up getting stuck in there. But, uh, yeah, honestly, uh, with the fact that we can get ourselves our very first spark, and just in general, we haven't done a spark mission yet. Honestly, let's see what's going on here. Kablooey hooey. And we're also uh, using Rabbit Luigi in today's episode to try him out a little bit. And with the fact that we, you know, have a decent amount of levels... I ended up throwing in something pretty interesting on him. Apparently, we could increase the ricochets of his main weapon, which is pretty cool. So, we'll definitely get to test that out today. Mm, that small spark is being held captive behind that barrier. Let's tear it down so we can rescue it. Mm, not our first bomb on radi rodeo. First dash them, second pick them up, and third throw them out the barrier. Repeat until desired results. Okay. So we need to destroy the barrier. Okay, so there's an interesting new game mode here. So destroy the dark mess gates. Okay. Got it. Well, we have multi-dash with edge. So we definitely want to take full advantage of that. Thing is, is how do we want to do it? And we're, how, how do we want to make this work? Because it might look like... Ooh, we can do something like that. Wow. Okay, I like that. I really, really like that. So yeah, Rabbit Luigi's... Uh, Thing that I upgraded was definitely worth it. Okay then, we're definitely going to take full advantage of that. But let's make sure Rabbit Luigi's a little closer here, I think, because that definitely looks pretty good to me. So it looks like it does more damage. Oh wait, no. Yeah, it does do seem to be doing more damage based on each bounce afterwards. So let's see here. Disruptor, or Disruptor, throws one to second hit up to five and targets sequentially. Ignores partial cover. That seems really good. So let's see here. I'm not- Oh no, it's the bomb bombs doing the rest of that damage. I was wondering why it looked like it was doing so much, but it was just the bomb bombs. But interesting though. Okay, cool. Um, thing is, is, do we have a way of bringing this bomb bomb over to that? Not really sure, honestly. I guess we'll figure that out in a second. Let's uh, get um, good old Rabbit Peach over here, I think to figure that out, and then we'll figure out from there. But definitely dash into you. Let's hopefully get rid of you as well, because I feel like if we get rid of the the Stooges off the map, we should be perfectly fine to kind of figure out what we want to do from there. And there's quite a lot of bomb bombs as well, so I think we could easily work with this. Doesn't look like we could do much at the current moment, so it's not the worst positioning when it comes to what we're doing. And since we have partial cover breaking, let's definitely just go like that. And there we go, perfect. Not a bad first turn. And let's hope that we can use the bomb bombs here in this next turn. Because if we can, we can start doing some damage. Ooh, you're way too close for comfort. <laughs> way too close. But I feel like um, once the bomb bombs start running out, either... Yep, they're gonna spawn more on us with those dark mess portals. Okay, good. That's good to see, because I wasn't too sure on that. Okay, so what I see here is we could definitely dash into this guy, pick him up, and pour him right on top of that. 
<laughs> and then we could use can Lu no grab Luigi can't get over there. Okay, so that answers that question. Although, wait a minute. Maybe I could do this differently. Because it looks like we might want to... Yeah, I see it. We go with you first. So Rabbit Edge is going to go, or Edge should go over here first. To kind of figure out what we want to do. So we'll pick you up. Grab you like so. And toss you right at where we need you to be. There we go. Another hit into that. Let's make our way back a little bit. So we can kind of figure out what we want to do next. I'm going to say we can maybe... Have Rabid Peach help out Rabid Luigi here to get the last little bit of movement over here to get this other bomb on. And hopefully in turn help us out a little bit, because let's be honest here, we're definitely going to need this bomb on here. And we don't want it to blow up randomly on us if we're not ready for it. There we go. Got four in. And then I think we can grab you as well. Yep. <laughs> definitely got a bunch of uh, these bomb bombs right away, which is good. While also having a decent amount of... Uh, ideas of what we want to do later. Then it looks like what I maybe can do here is maybe break the cover with our triple troll here, and then we can maybe get rid of that other rabbit over here, which may actually be helpful. Only thing is, is how do we want to do it, and are we actually going to knock him out? That's the real question. <laughs> That's definitely the real question for sure. Um, although, let's see what our tactic cam says. Looks like we're all done with the other enemies, though. So anything that spawns are going to come from those dark mess gates. So as long as we're safe, we should be fine. Although, what, do we, what is our ability here? Exhaust. All targets are stuck, are struck with the weakness effect, reducing the damage they can cause. Okay, interesting. Okay, interesting indeed. Honestly, I'm thinking turbo charge here might be actually good. Because Edge can maybe take that extra damage, and it might actually give us just enough to, yep, get rid of this guy. So let's get rid of that stooge over there, so now we're only dealing with one. And then whatever comes out of those Dark Mist portals are more than likely... I'm going to say they're more than likely going to be those bomb bombs we need. Let's start, start throwing... oh, well that didn't work at all. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Well, uh, we'll just end our turn. I was going to say that maybe we can use that to our advantage to breaking his little... Oh wait, no, that's spawned a stooge, though. We need bomb... Yep, yeah, there we go. We got ourselves a bomb bomb now. Perfect. I was about to say, so it spawns a stooge and then a bomb bomb. And I'm wondering if that's going to be the case all the time when these start spawning. Unfortunate that we don't have a lot of them, though. But it does look like it's starting to spawn them in droves now, based on the fact that there's two of them behind us now. But first, I want to maybe... Can Oh, hey! Okay, you can do that to Stooges as well. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. Interesting. Oh, but it counted as my double dash. Oh, oh no, that's Luigi. Oh no, yeah. I was I got confused with Rabbit <laughs> with Edge for a second there, to be honest. So I got confused, but I was about to say, but um, interesting though. So you can do that. That's cool. I like that you can because of the fact that uh, in general. Being able to, like, kind of double dash enemies like that without wasting a full two dashes to do so is actually pretty cool. I like that. But what we'll end up doing is maybe dropping Edge, like, right around here-ish. Because then we can grab you perfectly fine while using the rest of our turn here. Let's see here. I'm going to say maybe going back here with Rabbit Luigi for the time being to make sure we get rid of those enemies. And then what we'll do is we'll probably grab you, obviously. <laughs> and then we'll toss you at the Dark Mess uh, gate over here to start breaking that free. Because we're getting closer to opening this up enough to the point where we can get our little rabid Luma out of there. But that doesn't mean that we're completely done yet, because we need one more. And then I think just getting into safety would be the best thing at the current moment. Don't want to deal with that gate, though. But I do want to make sure that we do a decent amount to be able to help maybe Edge deal with these enemies, I think. Which I think, honestly, for Rabbit Luigi, if you go a little bit closer, buddy, I feel like I can maybe, just maybe, <laughs> use Edge here instead. And it might be a dash. Oh, actually, no, wait. We don't have a jump anymore. Oops. <laughs> well, that's definitely not going to work that way then. So I think, yeah, definitely making sure you guys are down. 
would be the option here. And I could have burned him, actually. That would have probably been smarter. But other than that, uh... Hmm. Well, can't really do much there. So I'm gonna guess uh, just getting into safety might be smarter. Then we'll see what... Okay, well, he's running. He's definitely running. Which actually might not have hurt us too bad, actually. I'm more worried about uh, what's gonna spawn from these portals. Because they could spawn in more dangerous enemies than the Stooges. But for the most part, yeah, it's, it's 100% bomb bombs and stooges from the top portals or just in portals in general and i think as long as well you know the bomb bombs are right next to us we're perfectly fine here because <laughs> all we need to do now is obviously well first uh i should probably move edge away from being blown up real quick that would probably be a smart idea but we'll grab you we'll pick you up and toss you right at the portal and just like or at the gate and just like that we battle cleared. Not bad. <laughs> we can now get that little spark now, hopefully. But we've been doing really good on these side quest missions, so I feel like we might as well make sure that we, you know, try to complete a decent amount in every episode. Um, puddles used to be fun to play in, you know? You kind of remind me of Starburst. I'm Electro Dash. Thanks for rescuing me. Electro Dash, you say? You sound like you're going to be helping out any person that needs to dash. That might be something Edge might want, because apparently, if we were to upgrade Edge, we can increase our movement if we dash multiple times in a row. So, yeah, that definitely sounds pretty good to me. Well, let's see here. Let me get my second wind, and we'll get going. Okay, we'll definitely take you, buddy. So, from bad to worse, and we got our very first uh, spark mission done. Cool. We're almost leveled again. Which is also good. Well, let's see what this Electro Dash does, since now we have a whole new spark. All dashes are charged with shock super effects and deal 150% damage. All super effect damage is reduced by 20%. Um, heroes are not affected by shock super effects. Okay. Interesting. Well, I think that's already better than the one that Edge is currently holding. Because of the fact that, well, let's be honest here. This is definitely going to come in handy in the very near future. Also, 160% uh, damage for dashing as well. So that'll definitely come in handy. Although, Fortify should probably be thrown onto something, at least, for the time being. Um, I'm going to say it might be better on Peach, to be honest. Because Peach does have the ability of completely blocking damage. And having a second way of doing that may actually be better for Peach. And then the Reflector... Actually, I think Rabid Mario might like that better, because the thing is, is Rabid Mario needs to be attacked for one of his skills, and I'll show it real quick. Uh, I believe it's this bottom right one on Technique. Actually, well, just his counter blow range. So it's basically his main ability, so if he gets attacked, he'll punch back. So if he's dropping the damage that he's taking, it'll end up being better for him, I think, in the long run, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. But there we go, we got ourselves another spark, and we'll definitely take that for just the fact that that definitely seems like it's going to be able to help Edge a little bit, while also giving us a little bit of an edge as well. But before we actually see where we're going, looks like we can take this cannon back to the mainland, it looks like. Other than that, it doesn't look like it's going to help us too much. But it was worth de definitely double-checking, though, for sure, just because of the fact that it's, uh, there is some areas over in the main area of Beacon Beach that we still have yet to kind of figure out where they're going to take us and if they are going to help us at all. But I think the best thing we could do now is just heading back in and seeing what's going on inside the Sunshine Shrine. And, well, let's be honest here, making our way back to the mainland, I think. Unless uh, we need to go somewhere else. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> but we need to go find uh, our little spark, though, that we saved since that is our main priority now, I think. Because I think we're... Oh, well, the Wild Claw ended up respawning. But let's see here. Yeah, we need to make our way back here. Over to... Well, we have this as well. The ginormous Goomba, I believe, is that over there. And did we ever go over here? I'm actually not sure. We could... Well, I can't pin it, actually. But we could definitely double-check it. I'm wondering if we can kind of sneak by this enemy, though. If at all possible. Oh, yeah, we definitely can. Okay, we'll leave that Wild Claw alone then. <laughs> if it's going to give me the option, I definitely should. Just in case. <laughs> so we don't have to refight any enemies that we already fought before. 
Let's climb on down, slide right past this Goomba over here, and we'll be back to where we where we uh, ended off uh, the episode, kind of, when it came to our main adventure and the last one. Oh, locked pipe. Sparks required 5 of 12. A truly ginormous Goomba, so that's our mission. Oh yeah, he's a ginormous Goomba indeed. Wow. Okay then. <laughs> so there's a little secret boss here, technically. And it looks like we got another mural for Augie. Let's see. Not really sure what's going on here. Hmm, the villagers here on Beacon Beach really need it, um really need to do a few background checks before hiring Waldens. Wait, doesn't that trophy look familiar? Yeah, that's the one on the outside. Huh. Okay then. Interesting. Let's see what the idea of this one is. It looks like Well, actually it doesn't really make any sense. It looks like they gifted him the trophy. For, do, for what seems to be raising the sun, based on him telling us he kind of lied to the other rabbits on the island here. So I'm guessing that's probably what that is, is a trophy for giving them the sun and being able to, you know, raise and lower it whenever he wants. <laughs> that's probably what that is. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what that's going to end up being for. But uh, let's... Ooh, basement treasures. Another planet coin. Cool. We also have the one that's... Uh, in general, for the shop guy, he's going to give us a sunrise key for giving him seven. Whatever was in that chest of, is yours. There's enough clutter around in this house as is. <laughs> well, thanks, Mr. Rabbit. We kind of already grabbed it already, so to be completely honest, we already got it. But thanks for uh, telling us that we were allowed to grab it. <laughs> uh, but let's make our way on outside. So where's this leading? It's obviously got to be in town. It's kind of interesting that the Sunrise Temple leads into somebody's room inside the, the little town there. But there it is. Good old uh, lighthouse. And it looks like we're definitely going to be able to head over there now. But one thing's first. This bomb bomb hunt, we never actually found out what to do with that. I'm going to sing. Well, maybe the bomb bombs respawned. But I want to go and uh, definitely grab our Sunrise key real quick and see if the bomb bombs did respawn. Yep, they did. Okay, so we didn't have to specifically deal with the other one. Also, this is sparkling. Hello, what's going on with you? Oh, hello. There's something in there. Oh, it's the blue, uh, oh. So the blue little thing here was hiding in there. Okay, interesting. So where does that lead? Oh, well, the bomb bomb just dashed into us. <laughs> I didn't even know they could dash you, but it makes sense if they're chasing you down, actually. They're only level 3, though, so they shouldn't do too much to us, but I'm guessing they're going to get to move first. Which, actually, they're far enough to the point where this doesn't actually affect us. And level of difficulty, battle's difficulty, is revealed by the number of color, or number and color above the roaming enemy. Green indicates the enemies are less powerful than heroes. Orange enemies means they're similar strength, and red are more powerful. Okay, simple enough. Um, I guess we just see... Oh, no. Apparently... Them dashing us didn't do anything to us. Although I think we took damage from that, actually. Yeah, I think we did. Based on everyone being lower. Because I feel like we were a lot higher in HP before when we were dealing with the uh, previous le level to get the spark that we were getting for Electro Dash. So I think, honestly, for here, there's a stooge in the back that we could see. But for the most part, it looks like we need to do something along the lines of kind of like this to kind of be able to, to kind of mess with them though. Because I feel like if we grab this, drop you on top of you like that, and I think we can disrupt her. Yep, we can definitely disrupt her. So let's go for that. And that'll get rid of any ranged enemies on map while also dealing with that Goomba over there, or Bomb Bomb over there. I don't know why I said Goomba. <laughs> and then we'll deal with this guy over here. And just like that, we beat our Bomb Bomb mission for that one rabid out front as well as got us another one of those planet crystals at the same time. <laughs> and, oh, we leveled up as well. Cool. <laughs> I'll definitely take that. Because levels are definitely going to come in handy, for sure, based on some of the later, like, upgrades we can get. And then, now that we have that done, we get that mission da back there finished. We'll see what he has to say now that we finish that while we're right next to him. You already done so much, but if you could also defeat the Lighthouse Tentacle, we can finally get some sun around here. We'll definitely see what we can do, buddy. 
Um, still no idea what to do with that dark mess uh, eye over there, though. But where does this cannon lead us? Because we had to unlock it in order to go through here. Oh, there's our egg, I think. Yep. <laughs> so that's what we needed for that. So let's grab our coins while we're here. And it looks like... What's going on with this tape over here? Um, oh, cut out a crown to make for Augie. <laughs> okay then, interesting. Still no idea what to do with these little swirly bits in the ground, but it looks like we might be able to take this egg and go in the cannon, it looks like. Maybe. Yep, it looks like we can. Cool. Okay, that works. So that's how we get that over there. I was wondering how we were supposed to break that uh, little eye there earlier, but it looks like we could literally take anything through those cannons, which is good to see. <laughs> we'll break that. Let's see what's hiding back here, just because I'm curious. Because we did see it earlier. Well, okay, well, I was about to say, uh, I thought the bomb bomb just ran into us, but no, it literally dashed into us earlier. I was wondering what was happening there. <laughs> okay, then, I was thinking I could maybe, like, run past him, but nope, that did not work in the way that I thought it was <laughs> gonna work. Okay, uh, what I can see here... So we could go for you like that. And actually, look, can I maybe... Yeah, I might be able to do this twice, actually. Let's go like that, maybe? Get rid of... Oh, ow! <laughs> that did a lot more damage than I was prepared for. <laughs> but let's grab this guy over here, drop him like that. There we go. We should be able to easily one, one and done this one. But let's make sure we get our HP back real quick. Just because healing jump and making sure to heal like that, we can fully heal ourselves. <laughs> there we go. And then uh, good old Rabbit Luigi, go like so. And I wonder what happens if you drop a bomb out, out of range of the map. <laughs> out of bounds him. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all, though. Just to see, you know, the out of bounds bonuses and stuff. Because I don't know how often we're going to be able to do that. Because I don't think we're going to have the bounce effect or the... Just in general for trying to think of what um, the push effect or the bounce effect. So it would be, you know, a little unfortunate if we don't have that. Also, it looks like we have a little bit of a rabid over here. Mm, Augie wandered far and wide until landing in hot water for selling fake treasure maps to so-called hidden treasures. <laughs> Bates about, does definitely sound about right for what we've seen with Augie so far. Based on him literally lying to these rabbits. <laughs> but there we go. Now that we have that done, and we're pretty much done with the map for the most part, from what it looks like. What's this over here? Uh, oh, hold X to boost your, your movement. Oh, okay, we already know that one. <laughs> but good to know, just in case if you didn't know how to do it. Let's definitely go over here and get ourselves that sunrise key. Buyer beware, no refunds. Might unlock some atypical door on Beacon Beach. Maybe. Well, we'll definitely take that, because that should take us to our little uh, Luma slash Spark that's hidden behind that door over there. We can also buy some free lore as well. <laughs> Let's definitely grab those. And honestly, I kind of want this wild sharpshooter for Luigi. So we'll definitely grab a couple of these while we're here. Looks like we can only grab one, though. But cool. I'll definitely grab it, because Luigi will probably like that. Let's see here. I think we go this way for the door over here. Because we can walk over the little bit of water. But let's see here. Unlock door. Sunrise key required. <laughs> but there we go. So we're entering some kind of, uh, definitely, uh, Augie secret, uh, portal, it seems like. <laughs> okay, then. So secret zone for good old Beacon Beach. So where exactly does this lead? I'm quite curious. Oh, hello. What is going on in here? Kind of looks like a toad treasure tracker level. To be completely fair. But interesting though, but it's definitely got a spark in here that we could definitely go for. So let's see here, we gotta find a way to get to the spark. Okay, it le looks like we definitely need that triangle. We got a whole new enemy with the red looking stooges over there, but I'm not really sure what they do. But definitely go through this little pipe over here for to start it off. And then we'll see from there what we need to do. Okay, it looks like... We need to take that path below us. Oh, he saw us. <laughs> well, we definitely want to dash you. Because I don't think being dashed by multiple enemies is a good thing for us. <laughs> I'm going to be honest there. I really don't think that's a good thing. 
Yeah, it looks like we got a definitely different type of battlefield here. What is going on here? There's four enemies. I only see three of them. Oh, two of them are behind the same cover. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering where he went. Uh, I'm going to say before we move, let's get Turbo Charge in to make sure we get that extra bit of damage. And then we'll probably take Edge right over to the other side with the Electro Dash. Can we give... No, we can only have it on one. Okay, good to know. So let's team jump first. And probably get in range of both of these enemy types over here. Uh, well, can't really hit both. Unfortunate. But I might be able to still take advantage of this. Let's go Shock Dash and get that in. And then we'll see what we can do for uh, extra damage here. That definitely does a lot of damage. <laughs> we'll go for that for sure. Wow. Shock effect does a lot. <laughs> wow. Okay then. I like that. I definitely like that. Um, other than that, it looks like the only way we can really deal with these enemies is kind of messing around and seeing what we can do here. I'm going to say more than likely getting Rabid Peach over here might be a good idea. Okay, not bad. Other than that, uh, we could go for you, but I'm not really sure if I want to at the same time. We can't really do the extra bit of what we're trying to do, though, which is a little unfortunate. Just because of the fact that that guy's kind of uh, hiding a little too well for us at the current moment, to be completely honest there. But other than that, uh, ooh, I might be able to break this, actually, and maybe use the Disruptor here to full effect, maybe. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we can definitely do that. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna get, like, right here-ish, maybe. Nope, can't really do that either, so Rabbit Luigi kind of has to stay... Well, outside of cover a little bit, but we might be able to do something along the lines of this Pyro Star here. And then, with the Disruptor, we can maybe burn this guy on the right here, which may actually be just enough. Yep, we burned him. Perfect. And just like that. Ooh, wow. Really close to burning us there. But, uh, we got pretty lucky, though. <laughs> but there we go. Battle cleared, and down goes another couple of enemies. But none of those red stooges were in that map, though. So we didn't really get to learn what those guys do yet. But we did get a little bit of ideas of what the battle areas are going to look like around here. Okay, so there's a couple options here. It looks like definitely we have to go to the right side here. And we might actually be able to kind of slide by this guy here. Let's see here. Yep. <laughs> do a little bit of uh, sneaking here. See what this guy's doing. Looks like we can go right behind you. It looks like we can actually get rid of a couple battles here if we actually do it right. Which I actually don't mind if we can get out of a couple of them. Because we don't need to do every single battle, obviously. So, let's see here. I'm thinking we can let the other guy see us. As long as we go down this at the right time. Yep, like that. Perfect. Okay, now we need to find a way to get over there. Where that triangle is. Not really- oh, there it is, I see it. There's a little ladder going down. Okay. I'll wait for this guy to move. Come on, buddy. There we go. <laughs> Make our way right over here. And we might actually take out um, one of these stooges over here, because I'm a little curious on what these guys actually do, just to be completely fair. So let's see what's going on with these enemies, because they're whole, a whole new enemy type we haven't dealt with yet. But they kind of remind me of the stooge enemy. But it kind of looks like they have, like, um, it looks like a dragon's head on top of them a little bit based on what it kind of looks like. So what is you? Flaming Stooge. Okay, so definitely a dragon's head. So let's see here. Weak to splash damage and resistant to burns. Launches fire-based attacks at rivals from behind cover. Okay, interesting. So they like to always be behind cover like regular Stooges, but they do 160 damage to 208. Jeez, okay. Those could be dangerous. Those definitely sound pretty dangerous. But we definitely can make do. <laughs> Let's set up the turbo charge, like always. No reason not to, right? Definitely worth going for. And then we'll set up the shock dash. And let's see if we can get the full effect of this dash in this time. Because I feel like as long as we do it right, we can definitely get a full amount of damage in here, unlike before. But based on the fact that these guys are resistant to fire, 
Uh, we're definitely not using Pyrostar here at all. But it is good to know for sure, just in case with uh, those enemies. Wow, Shock does a lot. Wow. We didn't even need to do the other other dash there. I was going to be, do, like, I was waiting for him to jump back down so I could do the other dash, but that wasn't even required at all. Jeez. Okay, then. I was not expecting that at all, but that definitely is nice. I like that. I definitely like that. Okay, we'll go, like, actually, wait a minute. Maybe from here, actually. I'm trying to think of a way to go for full damage here. Actually, wait, I might be able to... No, I can't see him from there. But maybe, just maybe, we could get just into range. Nope, we can't get into range there. I was thinking of a way to maybe attack twice. Because the thing is, as we do normally with you, we can do a decent amount of damage. But the thing is, is it really depends if we actually hit you. But the thing is, we can also crit here, and that might do enough damage as well. So let's see. See if we... Yep, we got a crit. <laughs> we also get the tw the extra HP back, too, for the fact that we have that special ability with Rabbit Peach, too. Although we were full HP, but still, though, still pretty cool that that ability is able to lifesteal like that. Okay, so we have that triangle over there that we need. So now what we need to do is find a way over there, which seems to be... Hmm. Well, we have the, we have the key over there. But the key's over there with him. Oh, right here. <laughs> I did see the little drop down there. Okay, so all we need to do now... Kind of make sure that we're where we're needing to be. I also want to kind of see what his actual path is. Looks like he only goes around the circle here. So as long as we stay out of view of him, we go like this. Grab this little triangle. Make our way back. And we should get our next little spark. Which seems to be something to do with sound, based on what he's holding. Because it looked like he was holding a megaphone. But I'm not really sure if that's uh, really exactly what he's going to actually do. But it could could definitely be sound. I'm wondering if um, it could be something along the lines of like um, forcing an enemy to always go towards a certain like person or not. Because it's very possible it could be. Because... There hasn't really been anything like that, and if it is. And also, yes, it's hero time. <laughs> Every time I hear something like that, I think of the Shrek 2 game. But thank you for rescuing me. I've been stuck here for what seems to be like forever. Aki is not in charge still, is he? And apparently his name is Screech, so he's definitely going to use that. But there we go, secret zone cleared. Cool. So what exactly does this um, new spark do? Because I feel like grabbing new sparks may lead to new possibilities of like things we can do. Because, let's be honest here, it's a big part of this game, so let's make sure that we have a decent amount to kind of figure out like which ones meld better with certain rabbits and which ones don't. Because I feel like we could probably get some pretty cool stuff in, as long as we do it right. Well, let's back up a little bit because I went to the wrong area for it. Now let's see what Screech does. Screech. Whoops and whoops gotta go. Enemies within range are repelled from the hero's position. Oh, so it's like Rabid Yoshi's ability. Cool. Okay, enemies within range are definitely like that. And critical buddy increases chance of critical hits from weapons by 10%. So you get an extra 10% as well. Okay. Well, someone like Mario could probably use that because he has hero sight as well as Luigi. But Mario is more close range, so this actually might be better on Mario. And then we could also upgrade him as well. Let's use... Do we want to use our Star Potion? I'm going to say we hold on to that, because we don't know how much, like, Star Bits we're going to need at later levels, I think. So, probably better to keep the Insta level on a on one of those uh, around just in case, because you never honestly know, right? And then I think the other guy was uh, over here for level 10, which we're not level 10. So I guess uh, the only thing we can do now is head over to the next lighthouse and find out what's going on. Come, rain or shine. And honestly, <laughs> let's begin our main mission again, now that we're done with the side quest for now. Yeah. 
Sorry I can't do any more. I'm no good at fighting like you are. All's all good, Twinkle. Until we meet again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye indeed, little buddy. We'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks for the help, though. Definitely for sure. Just because in general, that definitely does help us with the fact that now we can go inside here. So let's open up the lighthouse and begin our adventure in here. How big is this place, actually? Oh, actually quite decently large. So we, let's see here. Defeat the guard protecting the dark mess egg. Yeah, it definitely seems that way. <laughs> it looks like he won't let us go by him, though. But what's going on with this blue uh, pipe here? Might as well take a look. Because <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the, uh, the blue cannons from Kingdom Battle. Could be like that, but... Oh, actually it might be. Huh. Okay then, we got a P switch. Only thing is, is what does it do, do for us? That's a real question. Hmm, this room is amazing. We ought to find the decorator and have them do all ship. That would probably be pretty cool. Oh, there's a little chance of that. This room was designed by bored rabbits, looking to entertain themselves. They clearly abandoned it before finishing. Still appears functional, you know, if you want to give it a try. Hmm, clever genie. Or did you know that when rabbits design a room like this, they add the reward first. Let me show you. What word do you say? Okay, well, let's press it down. Oh, blue coin challenge. Yep, it's literally like the ones from Kingdom Battle. Okay, cool. Let's definitely make sure we grab these then, because let's be honest here. Based on what we know about them from before, they give us freebies. Oh, gotten messed up on the side there. Thing is, is if you accidentally run into something, you kind of get bounced around like that. Ooh, more and a chest. I'll take it. Planted coin obtained. As well as some more extra coins. As well as some more genie lore. So let's see what's going on with this one. Might give us an idea of what's going on here. Galactic Atlas Beacon Beach. Okay. Beacon Beach was one of the first planets rabbits populated after the mega bug was defeated by rabbit standards. This was an easy decision. The climate is, the sun is sunny, but mild thanks to the bonfire on top of the lighthouse. The Sunrise Temple is a popular venue for treasure hunters. Concerts are common occurrence, and it is even said that the coins can be found on trees. Huh. Okay then. Cool. You got a little bit of like a idea of a little bit more about Beacon Beach there. So it looks like these will lead to getting more lore stuff, instead of giving us new weapons like the original ones did. Okay, cool. We'll definitely take it. And then, well, I didn't expect him to actually move there, to be honest. It looked like he was just going to stay there, but he ended up dashing us like a goalie would for a soccer ball. Jeez. Okay, then. Well, I, that kind of scared me, actually. I was thinking he was just going to sit there, but nope. Light your fire. Defeat all. Okay, so we got more of those fire base sco uh, stooges now. As well as a wild claw sitting in the middle. Oh, and a spark. Hello, Spark. I did not know you were here. Aquinox. So glad you're here. If you win this battle, I get to join the, your, your heroes and leave here forever. Well, based on the fact that it says Aquinox, that'll definitely come in, come in good when it comes to dealing with the Wild Claw based on him being weak to water, and the fact that the Fire Stooges up here are weak to water as well. So that'll come in handy. Watch the Flaming Stooges. Their burn effect can light multiple heroes on fire, if they are too close together, forcing you to scatter. If you come in contact with someone else, or if they come into contact with someone else while on fire, they'll catch fire too. Tough luck. But that's fire for you. True. Definitely is fire for us. So, based on that, we need to be able to get rid of these guys before we get them, though. It would be nice to use it in a battle like this, because there's so many of those enemies. But, sadly, we don't have that chance. First off's first is figuring out how we want to deal with this map, though. I see a disruptor over here, but we can't really use it to any benefits. Maybe if we were like... Oh, actually, maybe up there. Does that count as a... Does the little gates on the side of the walls count as a cover or not? So that's the real question, I think. But Rabbit Luigi definitely might want to jump on Rabbit Peach here, I think, for this to work. Let's see, it probably gonna work this way. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I definitely know it's definitely gonna be worth a shot, and it does give us 50%. Ooh, wow. 
wow, okay, this disruptor is going to get a big, big advantage here in a second. Um, let's see here, how do we want to do it, though? We might be able to turbo tar charge him, too. Yep, we definitely can. So let's definitely go for that. And then we're going to turn that disruptor on fire, I think. Oh, wait, no, we can't, because they're fire-based enemies. It'll do less damage, sadly. So it would be good on that stooge on the end. But, honestly, let's be honest here, it's better if we do it this way. So let's definitely do a bunch of damage here for free. That's huge, though. That disruptor can definitely come in handy, for sure. And we also brought that guy closer. And I think Edge might really like that, actually. Let's set up the shock dash with good old electro dash here. And I think we're going to have a nice little bit of fun with this guy here, I think. We'll wait for him to come back down, though. Because I want to make sure we do a decent amount of damage before he starts moving. Because these guys are dangerous when it comes to, just in general, them being light smashers. I don't like the idea that they can maybe take full advantage of what we can do here. And I think we might be able to do... Yep, a dash into you. Now we know for sure you're going down, as long as we attack you. And honestly, I think what I want to do actually first is we're going to jump on Rabbit Peach here to make sure we can go in that straight line for our blade to work right. Because based on how it works, it has to go forward like that. Only thing is, is I think we need to go a little bit further. Why is it not hitting him? Well, now it's hitting him. That's weird. Um, let's see. Why is that? Oh, it's just because of the... Okay, the cover looks weird there, but we do we do have the ability to hit both of them. There we go. I just wanted to make sure we were hitting both, and it did not look like it was going to do that for a second. <laughs> but there we go. Perfect. Um, other than that, a uh, hmm, couple options. Definitely a couple options. But I think what we can do is definitely make our way up here and see if we can maybe get behind cover in a way that, yep, yeah, we can't really get behind that cover. But we can definitely get to you, though. Udu is more... you're more healthy, so let's try and go for you. Maybe we can get a crit. Nope, no crit, but you are low on HP. So that might end up coming in handy. Um, we can maybe weaken. Maybe. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. We also get to see Rabbit Luigi's ability, too. <laughs> nice little cutscene. <laughs> well, I guess it matches your little disc there. And also we get burned there for a decent amount of damage, though. I'm wondering if um any of our Rabbids are resistant to certain effects. Because if the enemies can do that, you would think that maybe we would be able to as well. I'm very curious about that. I should probably check that. Just because... It sounds like something that could happen. It definitely sounds like it would be something that you could probably do. Maybe at like, maybe you'd have to upgrade it though. But it seems like it's more of the pyro or the stars specifically. That's what kind of does that. Um, actually, wait a minute. How do we want to do this actually? I'm saying probably dash with you. And then what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of damage to you. And then we'll see what the Disruptor can do for the final hit there. Because I feel like the Disruptor should be able to get rid of both of them. Only thing is, is we need to make sure we do this right. And also, wait a minute. Actually, it might be better to drop on top of them like this. Then do the dash. And then go for the Disruptor. Because it's def definitely going to hit both of them. <laughs> there we go. And now good old Edge can do what uh, she does best. And do a nice little double dash to this guy. And here's a Stormblade. Hope you like it. <laughs> oh, I love that weapon. I really do. Although it only moves in a straight line, you can definitely make really good use of it, as long as you do it right. We got 40 coins and 40 star bits. We'll take those with us. And honestly, now that that guy's down, we can make our way further up the lighthouse now. First things first is we need to make sure we grab this Dark Mess Egg. And we also got ourselves Aquanox as well. So I'll definitely use him in the near future, because I'm pretty sure... Well, I need to get this into range. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, as long as um, we have that, we definitely use that on those fire-based enemies in the near future. And that'll definitely come in handy, because I'm pretty sure we're going to be running into a lot more of those very soon. Okay, it looks like we have a couple things here. We have a puzzle that requires a golden block. Looks like we need to stand on top of that. But it also looks like we can move this block. Oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, it just got stuck. I was about to say, it was like, wait a minute, it's not moving on me. There we go. Grab this uh, golden brick over here. Drop this right into this little area over here. And then we can move this little dark mess over. There we go. <laughs> and further up the lighthouse we go. Nice little puzzle. It's nice seeing the puzzles, because they're not as uh, common in this game so far as what I've noticed. We do have a U over here. Aren't we about to level? Wait a minute. Oops. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Map is the minus button. Y is the button to check your actual levels and stuff. I wish that was all in one menu, but let's see here. Yeah, we are about to level. Do we go for the Wild Claw, or do we not? That's definitely an option. Although I don't know if he's going to actually level us up, though. That's the real thing. I'm going to say he probably won't. I'm going to take that guess, just because we do have a decent, like, chunk left. And they seem to give us, like, 25 experience for the wild battles that are out in the no um, middle of nowhere. So I definitely think that's it probably wouldn't give us enough. So I think we're we're better off not going for him. And also, I kind of want to see what's at the top of this lighthouse, to be honest. And then it looks like what we need to do is do this, pull this back, drop this on top of you, and further up we go. <laughs> Wondering what we're going to end up uh, finding up on top of this lighthouse, though, with the fact that we already fought the boss, being that giant wild claw, unless there's another boss of some sort hiding inside the other tentacle, which is very possible. The only thing is, is what would end up being. There it is. Next um, bit of uh, Dark Mess tentacles, the one we were specifically going for. But there it is. Triumph over the uh, Dark Mass tentacles. And honestly, a light in the darkness? Let's, or Dark Mess, actually. <laughs> and here we go. I'm guessing this is probably going to be the final level for this world, because... The tentacles lead to us getting those purified dark mess uh, warp points, so I'm definitely going to say that this will lead to that, but what is going on here? Dark mess eyes, you say? <laughs> you definitely aren't wrong there. That's quite a lot of them, though. Oh, there's also another spark here as well. I'm guessing you're probably ooze, so toxic wake. Please, you've got to win this battle. I can't leave here with you unless you do. Hmm, Paul Spark, we will win your freedom, though it may take us a few attempts. That's quite a battlefield. Okay, yeah, not really sure what we need to do about these guys. Huh, if you destroy the dark, uh, dark mess uh, eyes on that pyre, it'll light the light on fire. Okay. Hmm, and since the dark mess dimension and your all world are connected, the lighthouse on the beacon beach will light up too. Okay, got it. But the only thing is, is how do we actually deal with these guys? Because I actually, you know, we've never actually dealt with them. It looks like just shooting them once might deal with them. But there is bomb bombs on map as well. But there's a lot of stooges as well as flaming uh, stooges as well. Okay, so good to know, for sure. Um, other than that, how do we want to do this? I want to see... Ooh, disrupt... Oh, disruptor is really good here. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. <laughs> we're definitely doing that. Um, let's see here. Other than that, um, I'm thinking Turbo Charge is definitely in our future for sure. So let's definitely make sure we do that. It's a good thing we brought Rabbit Luigi here, because that'll definitely come in handy. We'll stash into you, and then we'll definitely start dealing with these eyes. But the only thing is we can only get rid of five of them at a time. So, let's definitely go through this one in a batch like that, because that's definitely worth going for. So there's five already. <laughs> okay, other than that, um, I'm going to say what we can do is definitely dash into you to knock you out. We'll team jump on top of Rabbit Peach and make our way a decent amount over here. And honestly, I could go for a, tur a shock dash on this guy. And this should get rid of him based on the fact that sh the shock damage does a lot of damage. So let's see. Yep, he's done for. <laughs> he's definitely done for. Okay, other than that, uh, there is a stooge over there. He might get closer if we wait. So we should probably let him do his thing. But we will definitely go for you. <laughs> We're not letting you just stay there, buddy. But there we go. Perfect. Um, other than that, uh, 
We can do a little bit with this bomb bomb here, but not a lot. But we can do definitely something. Let's see, can I get rid of this eye? Doesn't look like it. We can throw it at least, but doesn't really help us in the long run. I think we can just end turn and see what happens. We could have went for a heal though, honestly, because Edge does need a little bit of a health boost. Because Edge is only at 400 HP at the current moment. But so far we're so good on it. Um, I will go for the heal now though, just before I do forget, because... You know what, it's better to do it now and then the cooldown comes back before we do forget to do so. Um, other than that, there's two more eyes on this side. There's a bomb bomb over here, which I think is probably best for Edge to deal with. So Edge, you make your way on over, buddy. And I think, honestly, as long as we drop like here-ish, obviously we can go for the bomb bomb first. And then do a decent amount of damage to you. And then we'll do our second dash to knock you out completely. <laughs> there we go. And then from there, we do have the flying blade guy for him. Hmm. Definitely a couple options here. But I'm definitely going to say flying blade because of the partial cover breaking. Because we don't have to worry about the partial cover with good old edge here. And then we'll set up a probably a storm blade in case that other enemy decides to run in distance of edge because it is all based off of if they run into him or not or run into her i should say but yeah it's definitely kind of iffy but i think let's help out rab the luigi kind of make his way closer i kind of like the idea of going up there as well but the thing is is we're kind of this kind of going this way at the current moment looks like just a little bit more um like here Actually, probably move right where Rabid Luigi is, I think. Would give us the maximum jump, I think. So we'll go from there. <laughs> Take him a decent distance over. About where Rabid Peach was. And actually, it looks like we need to maybe move just a little bit more. Just so Rabid Peach can get the full distance. But I feel like actually from this area over here, we'll get the maximum jump that we need. <laughs> and just like that, we're right on over here. Not bad. Okay. Other than that, uh, I'm gonna say definitely go for the Flaming Stooge up there before he starts attacking me. That would probably be the smartest thing. And then other than that, I think we can go, yeah, Disruptor. Oh my goodness. Wow. This Disruptor is really good on this map. So if we ever see Dark Mess Egg missions, or eye missions, we definitely bring this. Just because of the fact that we just did a huge amount of, uh, like, just in general, just just so much just from doing that in general. So it's definitely worth doing that again. But it looks like we're completely safe other than Edge being hit there. And we do have some portals opening up now. But for the most part, we're pretty much done with getting rid of these uh, eyes, for the most part. As long as uh, we make sure that Rabbit Luigi gets full motion, I think he's pretty much going to do this by himself, for the most part, which is huge. Definitely surprised about that one, to be honest. Let's see here. Yep, we can get rid of the rest of them just like that. Before we end off, though, um, for this level, I definitely want to see if we can maybe take advantage here with the... Just in general, because the thing is, is we get star bits for knocking out enemies, so I want to make sure that we get a decent amount before we do decide to kind of, you know, end this area. So let's jump off of you. Make our way right on top of you. <laughs> hello. Definitely a good old hello for you. And then we'll definitely get rid of you. Just because of the fact that those star bits are definitely worth going for. For sure. And honestly, does not look like good old Edge there can get a good decent amount in there. But we can maybe, per se. Let's see what we can do. I'm curious. Well, if we go for that, we might not be able to hit that. Yeah, it looks like only because we hit that eye, we are able to hit all of them. So let's throw that in, and completely destroy the rest of this map, just like so. And that should open up the fire for our good old lighthouse now. Battle cleared, and honestly, another one of those um, purified crystals as well. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Huh? 
And just like that, Beacon Beach seems to be completely safe now. <laughs> no more dark mess, and all the rapids seem to be doing a lot better, that's for sure. Although, we still have a couple side missions that we didn't do, obviously. Like that ginormous Goomba, which seems like we're definitely going to need to come back for. But, um, as well as that, uh, other mission that was level 10-ish. But honestly, not bad, though. Well, let's continue our story, and we'll prepare for the end of today's episode. Huh, how can you jump so high? You do, uh, thigh workouts, eh? Uh, maybe. I'm just stoked that the sun is out, and Beacon Beach is back, baby. Well, almost. When you pop the last tentacle, it, um, it left behind some nasty dark mist puddles. Also, there's something I should, uh, told ya. It's about Cursor's ringleaders, the Spark Hunters. Oh yeah, he said something about that when Edge, he thought Edge was a Spark Hunter. Okay. So we're finally learning, so those are specifically, like, you know, hunters that are specifically curses, 100% then. They came to me before you got here. They said if I didn't hand over all the spots here, they'd tread everyone into pizza toppings. My phrase, not theirs. Okay, then. Hmm, then we'll, we will save every spark we find. Here, and elsewhere, the Spark Hunter's grievance will be with us. True, 100%. Be careful, there's at least three of them, and they're real dangerous if they find out I told you. Only three of them? It looked like there was more based on what we... When we saw Cursa, you know, send them out at us. Unless, the, unless I miscounted, I swear I saw four though. Then they will answer to all of us. For although we have enough purif pur purified dark mask energy to travel to pristine peaks, those warp tunnels go both ways. We can return here anytime, whenever you need us. That's good to hear. Hmm, there's a word where I come from. Kulu Luka. It means chosen family. You're my Kuluka now. <laughs> We'll take it, Augie, because uh, I kind of feel bad for you after what we saw. But we are level 9 now. We actually got level 8 from that level, but we actually got two levels for actually completing the mission. Cool. And we also got new quests unlocked, obviously, because the plan has now been completely saved for the most part. But congratulations, you finished all the main quests on the planet. New quests are now available. Whenever you want, you can also head to the spaceship. We've gathered enough pur purified dark mist energy crystals to reach a new planet, which was called Pristine Peaks. But, um, what's going on with this? Oh, obviously the map. I was confused for a second. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> but it looks like, um, all there really is in here was the Goomba, we, but we need 12 sparks, obviously. But we have this Goomba over here. We have this area over here for the Pugliest Princess. Oh, we have to use Rabid Mario and Peach here, it looks like. That's interesting. The dopest catch and a tall dark mess, as well as another spark over here for cheap beats. Um, did we ever go over here? I'm not really sure. Uh, that's a good question. One second. Um, can we look on the other side of this? No, we can't. I'm guessing that's probably where we came out of, I think. Because that does kind of look like uh, the door from the Sunrise Temple where we kind of left from, I think. Definitely could be wrong, but it definitely seems that way. But uh, with that being said, I think this is where we're going to probably be ending off today's episode after we're done with looking at this new Spark Max level 3 unlocked, which is definitely good to see, based on the fact that level 9 was the requirement to get another level on those. So I'll definitely take that for sure. But before we go running off for today, I do want to see if there's anything hiding behind this little lighthouse here. Might as well. No reason not to, right? So there's a green pipe over here. Uh, what's going on with this? Actually, let's take a look. <laughs> no reason not to, right? Just in case. There could be something interesting in here. Nope, just a way back down. <laughs> we'll take it. But with that being said, thank y'all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. In the next episode, we more than likely... I'm going to say more than likely we'll be preparing for Pristine Peaks, the next world in the next episode. Because as long as we finish, uh, well, based on us being level 9, we could definitely do these missions over here, these three over here for the planet coins. 
And then we can obviously do this guy over here. So we'll do those four side quests, obviously, the Luma. And then I think we're completely ready to make our way to Pristine Peaks after that, because we can't really do this guy over here, because we don't have 12 sparks. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep being spooky. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Hey boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.